The first time I came here, I thought it was going to be an amateur production because I looked around, I thought the thing behind me, this band shell and amphitheater, which are very pretty, but I didn't think that, you know, this had been built as a theater. It hasn't. And so I settled in and waited for some amateur Shakespeare, and then the actors came on and they blew me away. It was really strong stuff. But also I looked around and there was not the usual artsy crowd that one sees at a Shakespeare play. There were, you know, kind of ordinary folks and grandparents and little kids and they were eating hot dogs and drinking coke and enjoying the Shakespeare and it was uh, which was a treat and I've always come back and been impressed with the fact that they make Shakespeare accessible without dumbing it down and without playing silly games to make it mean something that it doesn't which you sometimes see in, in other with other companies well two years ago Ian Farthing sent me an email uh, asking if I would be interested in writing a play for the company and telling me, that, you know, about the bicentennial, that this is the 200th anniversary of the town. And uh, suggested in the email, said, here's a goofy idea, the Merry Wives of Prescott. So I started rereading Merry Wives of Windsor and I thought it was perfect. I thought that it fit in all kinds of ways. Uh, Merry Wives of Windsor is a comedy set in a farming community that's not far from a big city and full of smart people. Uh, and uh, Falstaff, who's sort of the main character, comes in thinking that these are rubes who are going to be very easy to take advantage of, and they prove not to be. And the whole thing had enormous appeal, and it, it fit perfectly. And sometimes when you're doing an adaptation like this uh, from a classic, I've done these before, and if it fits in, all, if there are a lot of coincidences, and it fits in all kinds of minor ways, that's encouraging. That kind of tells you you're on the right track. So. Merry Wives fit the bill. Uh, for example, there are a couple of scenes that are full of children and I thought it would be great to have local kids uh, involved in that. There's a francophone character from Paris who we've turned into a guy from Montreal and uh, they even use the Thames River in Merry Wives and we're going to imply that we're using this river here in the same kind of way.